Hi, Y3. Welcome back to your Monday afternoon lesson. Now, if you remembered from Friday, we decided to switch it around a little bit, didn't we? So we did art on Friday. So today we're going to do some um, science today. And you might notice that we are doing a different science topic today. So we are doing rocks and we'll probably doing this to the end of the term as well. So let's get on with our learning today. So our learning objective today is to understand how rocks are formed. Let's have a look at our success criteria. So I can name different types of rocks. I can explain different uh, the difference between natural and man-made rocks. And I can answer questions about different rocks on a quiz. Um, there will be a quiz set at the end of this lesson. So please make sure that you watch through the whole lesson first before you do the quiz. Um, please make sure that if there are any questions that you're not quite sure about, Rewind this video and watch it back. There's nothing stopping you from watching this video more than once if you need to, okay? So let's go on. So I want you to have a look at this picture here. I want you to tell me what the rocks are like. So first of all, I wonder if you can find the rocks first of all. And then once you've found the rocks, can you try and describe them using these words? So we've got smooth, fumbly, lighter, rough, dark, old, new, and tough. I wonder if you can describe these rocks. Well done if you managed to have a go at that. So you probably saw straight away that there were some rocks here and there were some rocks here. So the first thing when I saw these rocks, I thought that these rocks were old. They were very, very old. I think they were quite rough as well. I don't think they were very, very smooth. I think they were quite jagged. Jagged is quite a good word. Jagged means like they were like pointy, like the opposite smooth. And I think actually they're probably quite tough. Now it's quite um, an interesting word to use tough for a rock. So do you think all rocks would be tough, wouldn't you? But there are some exceptions and uh, I think that'll become a bit more apparent as we go through this split. And the reason why I think they're tough is if you have a look, can you see the fence panels here? They're holding that in. So they must be quite strong, these rocks. So let's use these words and we're going to have a look at the next picture. So first of all, can you spot the rocks? And how would you describe these, uh, these rocks? So remember, smooth, crumbly, lighter, rough, dark, old, new or tough. How would you describe these rocks? Well, I don't know if you had a go at home. I had a go at that home. So as you can see straight away, the first big rock, of course, is up here. And of course, it all joins up here as well. And you'll be able to see that there's some on the beach as well. So when I first looked at this picture, and I was thinking about how to describe it, I actually think that the rock is quite crumbly. If you look very, very closely, that the rock face here, there's lots of like holes in it. And it's not quite, you know, it's not like the other picture well, the rocks look quite, um, you know, tough. This looks like if you touched it, you would crumble in your hands. I also noticed that it was much lighter, wasn't it? It was much lighter than the rocks in the previous picture as well, wasn't it? And yeah, I thought that was quite interesting. Now, I wonder if any of you use the word new. I wonder, because actually these rocks are very, very old, even though they're lighter, they're actually not, that they're not new at all. They're probably even older than the rocks in the previous pictures. I'm going to a bit of a reason why that is that later on. So the next picture, this one, a bit of a trick one actually. Can you spot where the rocks are? Have a look at this picture. Can you spot where the rocks are? And could you describe them for me? Okay, well done if you managed to spot that the rocks were, of course, the shops. And of course, the pavement here. Now these rocks are, I would say, smooth. They were new and they were tough. Now, most of these buildings, are, well, these buildings will be made out of brick. Now brick is man-made. It means it's made by a person. It's made by us, okay? And the floor, the pavement, is made out of what we call concrete. So concrete, again, is man-made, it's made by us. And this 
these are made, you know, have been made in the last hundred years or, you know, last couple of years, these ones, especially, especially, you know, these rocks, they haven't been around for thousands or hundreds of years, but they're still quite tough because they need to be, don't they? Houses and buildings and shops all need to be tough so they can last for a long time. They will last as long as they can and they need to be smooth because obviously people are going inside, in and out of these buildings, aren't they? So our next picture. Here we have, I wonder if you can notice what you think the rock might be in the picture. I wonder if you know what this picture is. What is this a picture of? And we can use some of these words. We might want to use different words that aren't on here. So well done if you said that this picture was of a volcano. Now, some rocks are formed from, um, from volcanoes and we'll be going into that a bit later. And inside of volcanoes is what we call magma. So inside of a volcano, we call it magma. And inside of these volcanoes, there are rocks, basically it's molten rock, rock that's been melted. And then when there's an eruption, when the, everything starts to come out, everything starts to explode, the rocks are basically thrown out, they're exploded, they are erupted out of the volcano. You won't be able to see anything, but if you can see, well, the end here, there'll be some rocks as well from inside of the volcano there. Okay, so let's go on to the next bit. So, oops, naturally, there we go. So there are three different types of rocks that are naturally made. So we've got the word igneous. I wonder if you can say that, igneous rock. Now, igneous rocks are usually from like granite. So granite is a type of rock of igneous rock. We have another type of rock, which is sedimentary. Sedimentary, can you say that? Sedimentary. And this tends to be rocks like chalk, okay? We're we'll gonna be going into that a bit more later. And then we have rocks that are called metamorphic. Metamorphic. And these are rocks like slate. So I'm going to go through these words again because these words are very important. We've got igneous, sedimentary, and metamorphic. And these are just types of rocks that those ones belong to. And we're going into more what each one is. So let's go on to igneous. So igneous rocks are, uh, is formed when magma or lava, so remember magma is when it's inside of the volcano and lava is when it's outside of it from the volcano. So, so let me read that again, sorry. Igneous rock is formed when magma or lava from volcano cools. Most igneous rocks are, are very hard, are very hard, are very hard, okay? So igneous rocks come from volcanoes usually, okay? So for example, molten rocks, there's two ways that igneous rocks can be made as well. So molten rocks that remain underground it's called magma. When the magma cools and hardens, it becomes igneous rock. So can you see here the darker bits, the gray of it, that's the igneous rock. And all the orange bit, that would be the magma, the bit that's inside of the volcano. There's the second way of making igneous rock. So molten rock that comes out of the ground is called lava. When the lava cools and hardens, it becomes igneous rock. So Igneous rock comes from volcanoes and it's when it's cooled down, okay? And that's how, make, that's how igneous rock is made. We can't, we do have some, obviously, we have granite, so that can, you know, things that are from, made from volcanoes, that is naturally made, okay? So we've got igneous rock here. Let's move on to the next one, which is sedimentary. So can you have a go with that same sedimentary? Well done. So sedimentary rock, uh, rocks are formed over millions of years when tiny pieces of rock and animal skeletons or shells are pressed down together at the bottom of the seas and rivers. So what happened? Rocks over millions and millions of years ago um, have, you know, gone floated down to the bottom of the sea, the bottom of the river. Along, along with animal bones and skeletons. And over the years, it's gone 
been pressed down over and over and more and more rock and um, bones and things like that have gone on top of each other. Okay, it takes millions and millions of years. And over time, it will start to build up, up and up and over. Some sedimentary rocks contain fossils. So fossils are bones or shells of living things that were buried long ago and turned into stone. So fossils, so once upon a time, millions and millions of years ago, these like little seashells, these little creatures were once animals. But when, when they died, their skeleton became encased in the, um, in the sedimentary rocks, which has made, has then turned them into fossils. Okay. So we've got sedimentary rocks there. So next bit. We've got metamorphic rocks. So can you say metamorphic? So metamorphic rocks don't uh, rocks don't just form from being near volcanoes. They are also they can also be formed from Earth's movements, which can cause rocks to be deeply buried or squeezed. So this is when the rocks are squeezed down, okay, from pressure from the volcanoes from the Earth. Okay, Met metamorphic rocks can be very hard. But can be easily damaged by things like acid, like from the rain. So, interestingly, rainwater can be quite acidic and can damage some buildings. Okay, and even worktops because there are some um, like rocks that we have uh, that we use, you know, for our countertops that can be used, um, you know, in our day to day lives. And if you get like lemon juice or anything acidic on it. It can ruin the work top. It's really interesting, actually. So, again, so metamorphic rocks are rocks that have been squeezed down for millions and millions of years, okay? And um, they're eventually um, mined and that we can use them for our buildings and kitchen worktops, but they can be damaged by acidic things, okay? So, normally they're strong, but, it's on, but as soon as there's something acidic on it, to something like rainwater or lemon juice, it will damage it. So, quick recap. So, igneous rocks are formed from volcanoes. So, either from inside the volcano from when it cools down or when it's outside of the volcano when it cools down as well. We have got sedimentary. So, again, this is when over millions and millions of years, rocks and um, skeletons and things like that, bones of animals, have packed on to each other over and over millions of years and then it forms making a rock and that's also how we find fossils as well. Then we have metamorphic rock which is then and can be found from volcanoes but mostly from when um, the earth from the earth's movement and causes the rock to be uh, very deep and squeezed down okay. Again these rocks are very strong However, if you get anything acidic on them, they will be damaged. So, we then have anthropic rocks, okay? So, we also have rocks that are man-made, that are made by us, okay? They're not made by nature. It doesn't take them millions and millions of years. It's made by us. So, man-made rocks are rocks which are not natural but have been made and purpose with a mind, so something to do, okay? They've been made for something, for a purpose. They are sometimes called anthropic rocks. Anthropic, that's a hard one to say, anthropic rocks. Anthropic rocks are moved and made or modified, that means changed by humans. So the best one that I can think of that's an anthropic one is like brick, so brick that we use for house or concrete, that is a rock that is anthropic that we have made by ourselves. So what you're going to do, you have got a quiz to do on um, teams. Um, there's about six questions on there. Have a go because they're true or false questions. And um, yeah, I hope you do. Uh, if you do need any help, make sure that you go back to the video and re-watch it. And then the answers will be there. Okay. So that's it from me today. I hope 
to see uh, my class tomorrow and Mr. Surridge's class will see you tomorrow at 8.30. So that's it for me today. Bye now.